What's up, ladies and gentlemen? The one and only James Williams, Dark Waters, the Stink Only and Ambassador, and I'm back. Listen, man, as I do more and more research into what is going on around this planet, the insanity continues to rise and rise and rise to heights of levels of insanity that probably are unlike anything anybody's ever seen. Now, one billion just so you know, one over one billion genetically modified mosquitoes have been released on this planet. You understand me? One billion. If I'm not mistaken, it's 7.5 or 7.6 billion people on this planet. That's like one seventh of the population. They have enough mosquitoes that are genetically modified for one seventh of the population of the planet. And we already know who behind the genetically modified mosquitoes. DJ Eugenics himself. If y'all don't know who DJ Eugenics himself is, his name is Billy. And he is at the gates of hell. And But that's who DJ Eugenics is. And so DJ Eugenics has already released these mosquitoes. But I think it's insane because these people have a special proclivity or a special, um, what would I call it? They have an urge, a need, a drive, a desire, a lust to do stuff to people in Africa. I mean, they really, really do have a lust to do stuff for people in Africa. Again, for the record, I'm an American, born and raised in America, not an, Amer I'm not an African-American, I'm an American, not an American. Some of you guys are Americans, but I'm American. From New Orleans, Louisiana, American. But I want you to hear it for yourself. And again, for YouTube purposes, because YouTube like to act funny, Mama YouTube, this is called Fair Use, but you're going to act how you're going to act. We're going to find out once it's done. Our last story tonight comes from Djibouti, a tiny country in East Africa. It is home to just over a million people, and they are at war with mosquitoes. They are witnessing an unprecedented surge in malaria cases. And malaria, as you would know, can be a deadly disease. It kills at least 600,000 people every year the world over and it is spread by mosquitoes. Now, Djibouti has been grappling with this disease for decades. In 2012, it was on the verge of eliminate, eliminating malaria. At least that was the hope. But cut to today and the cases have only skyrocketed. More than 70,000 cases were recorded in 2020. That's roughly one in 15 people. Now, I'm willing to bet you, and I'm willing to bet you that if you go back and look, 2012, 13, 14, 15, is when DJ Eugenics started releasing his mosquitoes. Because you know everything that they say they're gonna solve a problem to, they actually create the problem, right? So I'm willing to believe and willing to say and go out on a limb and say that DJ Eugenics is the cause behind this. And you need to know. So while you sitting around in the backyard on Father's Day, sidebar note, happy belated Father's Day to each and every father. I know that society is telling you that you aren't important, you are extremely important. You teach women how they, young ladies, how they should be treated by a man, and you teach men how to be men. In fact, the entire destruction of the country that we have right now is due to the lack of fatherhood. Also, the lack of priesthood and fathers and kingship and fathers, but more importantly, the lack of fatherhood. Nonetheless, keep it moving. It's a dramatic rise, and Djibouti has tried to fight it. But this Djibouti. nation is up against a mosquito super species. These they won't put mosquitoes in Djibouti. I'm telling you right now, you need to protect your booty, your booty, like these people in Djibouti need to protect their booties from mosquitoes. These insects thrive in urban areas. They bite both during the day and night. They have outsmarted most methods of control. They're resistant to chemical in insecticides. Fighting them has been a costly and complicated endeavor, yet Djibouti has been on the losing end of this war. So now they're bringing out the big guns. And what I like about this lady is if you read the captions at the bottom, she's talking, but they spit in truth in the captions, Gab gamble or gift. Can genetically modify mosquitoes uh, in disease? No, they can't. Um, it gives you the areas. But they said earlier, where's the one where they were, the question that they were posing? It, it's going to loop it Say, again. Say tiny buzzing guns. I'm talking about mosquitoes. Djibouti is using mosquitoes to fight mosquitoes. But here's the twist. They're using bioengineered mosquitoes. In other words, genetically modified mosquitoes. They come with a self-limiting gene. 
Let me explain how this works. Only female mosquitoes bite. They cause malaria. They transmit malaria and other viral diseases. So Djibouti has taken male mosquitoes and tweaked their genes. Recently, tens of thousands of these mosquitoes were released into the wild, where they will mate with females and introduce a gene in female offspring, a gene that will not let them survive into adulthood. I don't believe that at all. I don't believe that. You shouldn't believe that. In fact, you know there were over, I want to say a million genetically modified mosquitoes released in to Florida recently. It would reduce the population of mosquitoes. In short, Djibouti has released mosquitoes that are genetically engineered to kill their own children. Now this is a first in East Africa and only the second case in the continent. Burkina Faso used this technique in 2019. Now other African nations like Uganda are also keen and it makes sense for them. Africa bears the brunt of the global malaria burden. It accounts for 96% of malaria deaths worldwide. If I'm not mistaken, there are drugs that have been around for a very long time that work for malaria. If you guys recall, during the boot crisis, those same drugs help people as it pertains to the boop and they were drugs that's been around for years that work so instead of using those low-cost drugs and making those low-cost drugs available to everybody they want to genetically modify mosquitoes and you only can come to one conclusion these in case you haven't come to that conclusion they want you dead countries want to fight the disease they want a solution that is permanent that does not require continuous investment and genetic modification promises just that Plus, it proposes equality. Once the mosquitoes are released, they can, e they can benefit everyone equally, regardless of income levels, which is not the case with bed nets or vaccines or insecticides. And African nations are not the only ones exploring such solutions. Similar technology has been used in Brazil, the Cayman Islands, Panama and India. Since 2019, more than one billion such mosquitoes have been released the world over. One billion. One billion. And you see who logo is up there, right? See that blue logo? You see who logo that is, right? But here's the catch. you the catch, girl. Genetic modification is controversial. Absolutely. Most governments are hesitant and people are scared. Absolutely. And you're going to risk our community. You're going to ask the people in our community to be sacrificial lambs. Really? Now I want to pause and say this about this guy. This is in Florida. I'm going to start him over and let him talk again. He's in Florida. Now go ahead and tell him. Most governments are hesitant and people are scared. And you're going to risk our community. You're going to ask the people in our community to be sacrificial lambs. Really, that's the whole point of the, of the experiment, is to take a for-profit company and give them a means to run a test that, hey, they make money on technically. This technology could be life-saving, but its risks are still unknown. The technique is in its early stages. There are few laws to regulate it. Mosquitoes can cross boundaries. Who will stop them at national borders? What if mosquitoes are released inadvertently? What if modification changes their behavior? What if they build resistance to lethal genes? What if someone uses this technology to create bioweapons? Who controls all of this? More importantly, even if this entire process can be regulated, how should it happen? What level of oversight is required? It could be necessary, but it could also stifle in innovation. So how much is too much and how safe is safe enough? I like her. I'm going to tell you like this. If you want to know what's going on in the world, you cannot watch American news. You have to look at the news outside of America. If you want to know what's going on in America, you have to watch news that's outside of America. Because our fifth estate is just insane. I mean, it really is. So if you want to know what's going on, go look at India and look at uh, Brazilian news and look at, I would say look at Chinese, but they own some old next level stuff over there in China. I mean, it. it it's possible for you to go read their websites and translate it with, it was possible years ago to translate it to English with Google Translate, but now it's easier for it to be translated, but they wild over there. I mean, they're absolutely wild. Over Lots there. of questions. And history is filled with stories of pest control gone wrong. Oh yeah, 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 like glyphosate. You can fantasize about every possible fate in a laboratory. 
laboratory fate. You can hope that meddling in genetic you can hope. code will save lives. But it won't. But what about the catastrophic consequences that no one anticipates? Essentially, this is a Jurassic Park question. And we all know how that turned out. Exactly. Now, I'm going to say this. I like this woman. Because uh, she knows the truth, but she has to she has to phrase it and put it in terms in which it's a question. And that's how it's done. So anytime um, an assault on something is made, like if you're trying to get to the truth, they're going to phrase it as a question. And so she phrases it as a question so you can answer those questions in your mind. Remember, a question is a seed for an answer. So when someone asks you a question, it's literally a seed for an answer. So she hits you with a bunch of questions so you can develop an answer in your mind after she laid out the case as to what, quote unquote, were the good and the bad, basically, which was all bad from what I heard. A question is a seed for an answer. Remember that. So here's my question for you. Do you think you've been bitten by one of these GMO mosquitoes? Do you think you have? I'm pretty sure down here in these swamps, down here in Louisiana, I'm pretty sure I ain't got bit by them before. I'm pretty sure I ain't got bit by them before. And what does it mean for you? One and only, James Williams, the Sankonia Ambassador. I'm out of here.